Salut, aujourd'hui on va apprendre la quatrième leçon de votre texte pour les étudiants de la dixième classe. Cette leçon s'appelle les fêtes nationales. So, this is the fourth lesson for the 10 standard students. Les fêtes nationales, ok? National festivals or national holidays. Now, as in most of your lessons in this textbook, it is in the form of a dialogue between two people, ok? You have two people here. The first one is Hari and the second one is Shal. Okay, so be careful when you're reading this textbook and studying. If a dialogue is asked for you in reference to context, you could be questioned as to who said to who. So be mindful of who is saying what. Okay, and obviously it'll be to the other person. So that is one thing you need to keep in mind uh, when you're reading and studying this lesson. There are a few words which are little long and difficult so pay attention let's start reading and understanding this lesson Harry est un jeune indien à Paris son ami Charles est parisien so they're introducing the two characters to you Harry is a young Indian in Paris his friend Charles is Parisian so they're not only saying il est français they're saying il est parisien meaning he is from Paris okay he's not only French he is also and giving you the information that he is from Paris. So two characters, an Indian named Hari and a Parisian named Charles. So, c'est le 14 juillet et il y a beaucoup de monde dans les rues. So, it's the 14th of July and there is a crowd in the streets. There is a lot of people in the streets. Beaucoup de monde is literally not the whole world. Okay, it means a lot of the world, but that's not what it means. It's an expression meaning a lot of people, okay, a lot of crowd in the streets. Now here starts the dialogue. Qu'est-ce qui se passe, dit Harry? Pourquoi ces jeunes gens dansent-ils dans les rues? What's happening? What's going on? Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Says Harry. Why are these young people dancing in the streets? Okay, jeune is young. Jeune Jean becomes young people. So he's asking them. They're dancing, they're making merry, they're having a good time in the streets. So he's an Indian. He wants to know why it's happening suddenly. So now, Charles starts. À ça, c'est aujourd'hui le 14 juillet, le jour de la fête nationale française. So why are they dancing? Because today, it's the 14th of July. Does 14th of July ring a bell in your head? Yeah. It's what you have learned in history last year as Le Bastille Day, right? Which is the French National Day when they came and stormed the Bastille. So, it's the 14th of July, the day of the French National Day, National Festival of the French. Okay, Le Jour de la Fête Nationale Française. And as a student of French, you should already be knowing that 14th of July is a national day. C'est une date très importante dans l'histoire de la France. It's a very important date in the history of France. L'histoire has two meanings, history and story. Okay, here it means history. La fête commémore la prise de la Bastille le 14 juillet 1789 qui a marqué le début de la Révolution française. So as you have studied in great depth in your history last year, this is not new to you, right? The festival commemorates. Commemorer is to commemorate, to mark. Okay? La prise de la Bastille. You know, prendre is to take. So the noun form of that, prendre, is la prise. Okay? The takeover or the capture of the Bastille on 14th of July 1789. This date is very important. Okay? Which marked the debut. You know, debut is an English word also. It means the start, the commencement. Okay? Which marked the start of the French Revolution. La Révolution. Française, French Revolution. La Bastille était une prison et donc un symbole du pouvoir absolu des rois de France. So now they're telling you what the Bastille was. La Bastille était, it was, past tense, okay? A prison. Une prison, a prison, et donc un symbole, and therefore a symbol, donc is therefore hence du pouvoir absolu absolute power okay pouvoir is the ability and the noun form it is the power 
absolute power despotic power of the kings of france okay here you can see picture very famous kings of france including louis the 16th okay the rua is a king the gender change would be ren feminine queen r-e-i-n-e -E, ren so now you've all seen this flag okay it's the french national flag blue white and red now do you know what it stands for le drapeau tricolo symbolise les trois idiots de la république the tricolor flag okay so our flag is also tricolor theirs is also tricolor three colored three colors tricolor symbolise is to symbolize signify the three ideals of the republic ideal is an ideal okay principle the plural is ideo becomes ideals of the republic now which are the three ideals liberté égalité fraternité liberty equality fraternity fraternity is brotherhood okay united this la célébration de la fête nationale est toujours très gay the celebration of the national festival is always very uh, pompous gay okay joyful now he's describing the celebrations how the french people celebrate their national holiday on danse dans les rues this is what harry had seen right People are dancing in the streets. On chante, they are singing. Et le soir, il y a un bal et des feux d'artifice. And in the evening, there is a ball. You know what a ball is? A grand dance, a formal dance, and fireworks. Des feux d'artifice, fireworks. Toutes les rues de la capitale sont ornées de drapeaux tricolores, bleu, blanc, rouge. All the streets of the capital are on. Uh, are decorated okay ochner is to decorate to adorn by the tricolor flags remember the rapo eau nouns uh, to make the plural you have to add an x and not an s okay gato couteau drapeau bleu blanc rouge okay the three colors of the french national flag which you already know are blue white and red you can see in the street here okay the shows they say how the flags are arranged Tout le monde se dirige vers la place de la Bastille. So, again, tout le monde is an expression, right? Everyone. Se diriger is to move oneself, okay? To direct yourself towards the a place de la Bastille is the place where the Bastille was, okay? It was stormed on 14 July 1789, so obviously it no longer exists. But la place de la Bastille is the remembrance, the memorial of where it used to be. Okay, so that is a square in France. So everyone goes there, everyone moves towards that place. Do commence from where starts the defile militaire, from where the military parade starts. Okay, defile is a parade. Jusqu'aux Champs-Élysées, au son de la Marseillaise, l'hymne national français. So up till Champs-Élysées, now Champs-Élysées is the major avenue, the principal avenue road of France, at the end of which you have the famous Arc de Triomphe. Au son de la Marseillaise. Now, do you know what la Marseillaise is? It's a very famous song. I'll play a little bit for you. And you think and tell me what it is. So do you have an idea of what it is? If you guess that it's the national anthem of France, you're right. Okay. La Marseillaise is the French national anthem. It has a very military feel to it. Okay. As you've heard. So everyone goes towards uh, the Place de la Bastille, where the military parade starts up till Champs Elysees, to the sound of La Marseillaise. So they play the national anthem. Okay. While this procession is happening, Lime National is national anthem. Au nom de vous aussi, vous avez une fête nationale. So you conclude by saying in India, you also, you have a national festival, you have a national holiday. C'est le 15 août, je pense. It's the 15th of August, I think. Qu'est-ce que le 15 août représente? So now he asks Hari, what does the 15th of August represent? Why do you celebrate a national holiday on 15th of August? Eh bien... Le 15 août, c'est l'anniversaire de notre indépendance des Anglais. 
very well the 15th of august is the anniversary of our independence from the english okay this only is not the english language it's a britishers c'est un jour de joie populaire it's a day of popular joy the people's joy okay as you know 15th august is our independence day 1947 was the year after a long hard struggle led by the uh, freedom struggle leaders now he's talking about how we celebrate in india il y a la levi au drapeau dans toutes les écoles de l'inde there is a flag hoisting la levi au drapeau is the flag hoisting in every school of india in all the schools of india le drapeau indien flotte partout the indian flag flutters everywhere or flies everywhere okay back to every float there is an er verb which is to float or to fly to flutter okay then he's talking about the second national holiday of india which is le 26 janvier et aussi un jour très important pour les indiens c'est la fête de la république as you know 26 january is also a very important day for indian people it's the republic day or la fête de la république le public festival okay Now how is that celebrated? Ce jour-là à Delhi, les troupes sont passées en revue par le président. On this day, at Delhi, now you know this, the troops march in front of the president, right? Les troupes sont passées en revue. So, être passé en revue is a phrasal expression meaning to be reviewed by. Okay? So, the troops are reviewed as in they pass by the president and they salute him. So, they are reviewed by the president. Puis il y a un défilé de chars où chaque État indien est représenté. Later, there is a float parade. So you saw in France un défilé militaire, which is a military parade. In India, we have un défilé de chars, which is a float parade, where every Indian state is represented. Okay, Ita is a state. So as you know, on our Republic Day in Delhi, we have all the floats of the various states coming in. Okay. So with that, we've wrapped up the explanation of this fourth unit from your textbook, Le Fête National. Hope you've understood it and the vocab is clear to you. Thank you. Until we meet again, take care.